Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about carbon cycle. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So in the last lecture, we have talked about biogeochemical cycles, and we know that biogeochemical cycles are of two types gaseous and sedimentary cycles and we have seen that carbon cycle is a type of gaseous cycle now in the last lecture we have talked about the water cycle or hydrological cycle and in today's lecture we will talk about carbon cycle so let's start carbon cycle and if you want to check the last lecture, you can check it. Uh, link is in the description box. So carbon cycle is the process where carbon compounds are interconverted in the environment. So let's see the stages of carbon cycle. So the first step or first stage is that plants absorb CO2 or carbon dioxide from atmosphere for their photosynthesis and this is the reaction of photosynthesis where CO2 is absorbed by the plants and glucose is actually produced by photosynthesis process. Step 2 is that animals consume these plants and therefore they get glucose and then carbon is accumulated in their bodies. Step 3 that these animals and plants respire and release carbon dioxide from their body because plants don't only undergo photosynthesis but plants do respire also and animals also respire so after the respiration process they yield carbon dioxide so this is the process where glucose is consumed and carbon dioxide is liberated or released that is the process of respiration step 4 is eventually these plants and animals die so after their death decomposition occurs which releases back carbon to the environment because decomposition is a process which breaks down the organic materials which are present in plants and animals body and then it can release carbon to the environment so this is step four and then step five is that remains of the dead plants and animals convert into fossil fuel so what is fossil fuel coal and petroleum are fossil fuel which are generated in the soil after the conversion of the remaining parts of the dead animals and plants so these fossil fuels are made up of carbons only those are made up of hydrocarbon and they form the most important energy source for modern man and it can produce CO2 when these fossil fuels are burnt. So this is step 5. So in this picture we can see all these stages photosynthesis occurring where plant is absorbing CO2 and then plant is respiring it is producing CO2 the animal is respiring it is also producing CO2 and when the plants and animals are getting died then uh, CO2 is uh, liberated after the decomposition process and here we have the fossils and fossil fuel which will yield CO2 when they are burned. Right? Okay. So next is the significance of carbon cycle. So first is that CO2 absorbs long wave radiations from the sun like infrared radiation. So CO2 acts as a blanket over earth and if the CO2 cycle gets disturbed it will cause global warming because it will increase the temperature and it will bring some climatic changes. 
and carbon is the very important compound of every living organism since it is the building block of protein lipid dna rna carbohydrate etc so every stuff is made up of carbon so carbon is the very much important compound of living organisms